What is up you guys? I'm going to show you how to install the OptiFine mod, the shaders mod, and Minecraft Forge on Minecraft 1.8 and it's compatible with all the other versions so there's no need to worry about that. So the first thing to do is go to your uh, edit profile and make sure that you use the 1.8 version. So just scroll down and you'll find it right there. Save profile and just hit play. So once it's open, you can just close it down. First, find your links. I'll have them in the description. And download the three files. So first, close Minecraft, of course, install Forge and have the .minecraft located already. And when you click OK, it'll just do its thing. And when it's done, just click OK and open up Minecraft. So Forge creates a new profile, go to your little profile and hit Forge and hit play. It'll do its own little thing. Just let us do its thing and then after, when you're done that, just close it back. Alright, so go to your .minecraft folder and if you can't locate it, uh, click Windows R and then search percent app data percent. And then once you do that, it'll bring you to app data. Go to roaming. Minecraft should be right there, right? So Forge makes this new thing called mods. So drag and optifine to that folder. All right, make sure it's on the Forge profile and open up Minecraft again. And so what you want to do is you go to your options, uh, video settings, and you can see that Optifine is installed because of all, all these new options. And you can tweak a bunch of different things. So make sure anti-aliasing's off, anisotropic filtering's off, and a few other things. It should be fine once you install it. So go to performance and just make sure fast render is off. Make sure fast render is off. And now close Minecraft. So now you want to drag in the shader mod and reopen Minecraft again with the uh, Forge profile. Alright, so now you can tell that shaders are in, but you obviously don't have any shaders, right? Go get some! So go open your shaders back folder, because this is where you drag all your crap in. And a personal favorite Nick showed me is the CUDA shaders. So download whatever one you think your computer can actually handle. So I usually go medium or ultra, but just download all of them and just test. So once you did that, just drag in to your shaders folder that you opened up earlier. And click on it and make a new world and test them out. It's pretty straightforward and tutorial. You know, shader type. Uh, there we go. Looking beautiful. This isn't a live commentary. I'm just recording this now. But if you look at the grass, it's wavy and the trees are wavy and there's shadows and like gloom and. The water is cool, like, and it runs really well. And I don't even have that good of a computer, and it runs goddamn so smooth. So, I switched it to Ultra here just to see what they would look like and how it runs. And it's not bad. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, you know, leave a little thumbs up, a comment, or subscribe. And I'm not telling you to do that, you know, just it's your life. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.